It kind of hurts me when I throw away makeup, but I gotta do what I gotta do. All right. <laughs> All right, you guys, so welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I want to do something a little bit different because I am moving in March slash April. So I have a bunch of makeup, all right? Y'all already know this. I have a bunch of makeup. And I'm ready to get rid of some old stuff and just, you know, kind of start fresh because I have makeup in here from like... 2007 probably all right i have a lot of old stuff so i just want to do a chill video and just get rid of some products and just talk about how old they are and just show you what i'm getting rid of so with that being said make sure you go ahead and like subscribe and let's jump right into my makeup the clutter video i guess <laughs> so i have this big amazon box right here because we're about to throw a bunch of stuff away you guys so let me start off with my first drawer i have a bunch of sponges and honestly y'all these are these are like years old and with sponges you don't want to keep them for longer than three months i believe because it holds bacteria so let me throw some of these away like this one right here look at that it has a big old hole in here i don't know if this is focusing but it has a huge hole in there this one's from two years ago the sonia kashuk sponge thrown this one away this one is my old beauty blender and y'all this looks so dry let me show you guys it looks so dry like yeah this 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 gotta go i gotta go so that's super old this one i don't know what sponge this is but this one's pretty new so i'm gonna keep that one that one too i don't know this one looks old but i can't really tell it's a beauty blender as well I think this one is newer, but I haven't used it in a while because I've been using the sponge I've been testing out. So I think that's it because all of these look really good. So we're just throwing away three sponges so far that are really, really old, you guys. Um, but up here, I have primers and all of that. So these are all fairly new. So we're just going to move on to the next drawer and see what I have in here, y'all. Like, I have a bunch of lipsticks and lip glosses and all of that like i don't know if y'all can see this there's still more back here so let's start off with this one first and see what i want to get rid of so this is the anastasia hudson liquid lipstick i'm pretty sure this is this is old like it's not even <laughs> pulling out any products so i'm throwing this one away this next soft matte lip cream i've had for about five years now so that's going away the NYX lingerie liquid lipstick I've had for literally when they came out when they first came out and that was in college I believe y'all this is this is really old so I have the Kathleen D exorcism liquid lipstick I got this years ago I hate the name of this but it's totally fine but it's still pretty creamy you guys like it doesn't look old like I can still hear the pop you know what I mean so here's this one and like it's it still looks good in my opinion so i'm keeping this one i love this for the fall time so i think that's pretty much it because all these are pretty new lip glosses and stuff now i have this one which is like nudes in here and this one looks old let's see yeah that's old i don't hear that sound you guys know what i'm talking about all of these look fairly new so so far so good Oh no, I have this Anastasia one. This is the Bittersweet Liquid Lipstick. Completely dried out, so I'm throwing this one away. So I have this Tarte, Tarteiste. I don't know what the color is called, but I've had this shade for a while. I think it was a Perk from Sephora. And I thought it was too light at first, but actually I can make that work with some dark lip liner. So that's that for this section. I think everything else in here is pretty much new so we're gonna move on to the next section the next section you guys is concealers all right this is about to be good so in this collection i have a bunch of foundations concealers and all of that if you guys don't know on my actual vanity i have all the foundations and concealers that i use over there these ones i barely touch so we're gonna go through them and figure out what i'm keeping and what i'm throwing away all right so this one is the estee lauder 
Amber Honey Foundation. I have a little bit left, but I never, I never use this. So I'm just throw it away. Like I hate throwing stuff away because actually, you know what? Let me see. Let me see how much product is in here. Cause y'all can tell right now I'm a hoarder because I don't like throwing anything away. So there's still a good amount of product. So I'm just gonna keep it. All right, y'all don't judge me, but it's a little bit of product in here. So I'm still gonna keep that one. So this is the LA Girl Pro Concealers. I don't like these concealers. I used to buy a lot of this when I was younger. So I'm gonna throw this one away. And then I also have the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circle Concealer. I'm gonna throw this one away as well. The Naked one. The Naked Skin Urban Decay Concealer I've had for years, you guys, when it first came out. So this one is going as well. This is the Elf Camo Concealer. And this is in the shade Deep Cinnamon. And it looks pretty much full, you guys. But for some reason, the colors are kind of separating a little bit. So I'll show you guys what that looks like. But you can kind of see that like, the colors are kind of changing. So let me see. There's still a lot of product in here, so I'm gonna keep this one, I'm gonna keep it. So a lot of these concealers I don't use, but I still keep because um, if I'm doing like my top drugstore concealers or top high-end concealers, I can still refer to these because I like most of these, it's just I have my favorites over there, all right? So this concealer I got from a brand a long time ago. I never really used this. And then here's another LA Pro Concealer. This one is their contour one. I actually like this color, so I'm gonna keep that one. The Sephora Gel Serum. I have this in the shade Truffle. And this was supposed to be a contour concealer for me, you guys. And it didn't do anything because it's way too light for my skin. So I'm throwing that one away. The Makeup Revolution F16 Foundation Stick. Throwing this one away. Because I use it as a contour cream. But I actually use my Juvia's one a lot more. So this one is just gonna go in the trash. And I hope I'm focusing, you guys. Okay, if it's not focusing, I'm so sorry. But let's see. So I have the Makeup Revolution concealer that I first got when it first came out. So this one's going in the trash. So this next one is a Sephora Bright Future Corrector. I have this in the shade orange. This one, I don't like the formula and I don't like the color and I never opened this one. Um, I actually got another one of it before and I tried it, but I didn't like it. So this one's just gonna go in the trash because it's pretty old for now. And for my foundations, all of these can pretty much stay. Oh, let me throw this away. The Makeup Revolution Cut Crease Canvas Concealer. I'm throwing that one away. But everything else can pretty much stay for now. The only foundation I'm going to throw away actually is the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. I have this in the shade Macau. And this is so old, you guys. Like, look at this color. Like, it doesn't even look right because it's so old. And then when you open this up, this is the actual shade of it. Like, I don't know why it looks so different, but y'all see what I mean? The bottle, the actual inside looks so different. So this one I'm going to throw away as well. So I'm going to tilt my camera down a little bit. But this next drawer is my bronzer contour um, powder drawer. So let me show you guys what is in here. Honestly, you guys. All right. So this was my favorite contour palette back in the day. The NYX Deep Contour Palette. It's called their Conceal Correct Contour Palette. So yeah, this one right here. I used to use it all the time. I love the orange corrector and also the contour cream as well but y'all this is old i am telling you this is so so old so that's going right in the trash i still have the sasha buttercup powder which i never ever use so just gotta throw this one away because that's old um what else is in here so everything else in here i still like you guys i have the fenty powder i have the maybelline powder as well i have the maybelline fit me powder the pressed version now, one thing I will say I may throw away because, yeah, this is stiff. All right, this is the Anastasia Contour Cream Kit. I have it in the shade Deep or Dark, I believe. I can't remember. But this is old. Like, this is this is stiff, you got. Like, look at this. Like, I'm rubbing my hands in it. Nothing's coming out. So this one, got to go in the trash. So when you have a couple items in the box so far, this is still pretty good, you guys, because... It kind of hurts me when I throw away makeup, but I gotta do what I gotta do, all right? So now we're gonna move on to 
these products back here these are more lip products and with these some of these are super old so let's see what's in here i have this matte liquid like lipstick from a brand from before i'm just gonna throw this away because it's super old and everything else in here is still fairly new i'm just gonna throw away this one actually the ginger spice color matte lipstick i don't even what brand is this i think this is wet and wild i'm gonna throw this one away and then also i have this liquid lipstick from wet and wild is their mega last liquid catsuit um i have it in the shade give me mocha i used to wear this all the time you guys but this is pretty much old at this point so that's going in the trash all right so that's that drawer so the next drawer i have oh my goodness i still have the color pop liquid lipsticks from when they first came out y'all this is ooh. It's still making that sound. So does that mean it's good? Like I know it's old, y'all. Like this is this is super old, but it's making that sound. So let me just throw it away. Let me throw it away. <laughs> All right. So I also have another ColourPop liquid lipstick as well in the shade More Better. I used to use this all the time, and it's still making that sound, you guys. But it looks a little bit off. If y'all can see that, like. The product is just kind of like hanging in the air. So that tells me, that tells me it's not good. So I'm throwing this one away as well. Throwing this one, the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. This is old. Same as this one as well. Old. The Ulta Matte Lip Cream. Throwing this one away. The NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick. I bought this but never used it, you guys. I'd be wasting so much money but it's still making that sound. I know it's pretty old. So I may, oh, it says six months. It says six months is the maximum you can keep this product. So I've had it for years. I'm just gonna throw this one away. That's old. Also have the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream, this blue one. I remember when I first got this, I thought I was so cool because I did a whole makeup look with it and I put a blue lip on. I was like, yep, yep. But yeah, this is old. And I liked it for that look, but I don't know why I still have that. And then also I have the Wet n Wild Berry Recognized Liquid Lipstick as well. I know I didn't really use this, but at the same time, it's pretty much old at this point. So moving on to the next drawer, I have a couple more items. I have this liquid lipstick that I know is old for my brand. I have a bunch of MAC lipsticks, but even with MAC, like the thing about it is it can be years old, but I can't throw it away. Like I, I just can't do it because like it's MAC, you know? So I'm just gonna keep these regardless. But I got this, let's see. Oh, this is a new Anastasia liquid lipstick that I forgot about. Let's see. Oh, wow. This is in the shade Sepia so pretty but i forgot i had it like that's why i tell you guys all the time like don't buy too much makeup like use what you have because this is so pretty and i didn't even know i had it so let me put this up here all right so that's that one and then i also have the nyx lingerie lipstick throwing this away because it's super old how nyx lipstick as well this one is old this is the Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Catsuit. You guys know I love this liquid lipstick at this point because I bought all the shades is what it seems like. But this is pretty much old. So now we went ahead and switched spots, all right? So moving over to this side, I have all my blushes. And low key, you guys, I already went ahead and kind of got rid of the old blushes that I don't use anymore. So all of these I still use. Um, I have a bunch of NYX blushes and blushes do last a long time so you can keep them for a couple of years. But I have a bunch of MAC blushes. Um, I have all the new like e.l.f. putty blush as well as y'all can see. So this drawer is pretty much set. So we need to touch that one. Now the next one I have is highlighters. All right, so I know there's some in here that I just, I have to get rid of them because I don't use them anymore. So this one is the Believe yeah it's broken so i don't even need to talk about this one this one is their believe highlighter stick and it's broken so that can just go in the trash i have the elf blush gems 
highlighter and it kind of lacks a little bit of luster because I'm trying to swatch it for y'all but it's not it's not giving it to me so this is gonna go in the trash so we also have this old brand that sent me a highlighter and it's pretty you guys but I don't know it's not giving me yeah it's a little bit too icy for my skin like can y'all see that it's a little bit icy for my skin and this is what it looks like so this one can go in the trash because I really haven't used that one and oh you guys I have this ColourPop Avalon I believe is how you say it they're super shock chic highlighter this one i got it when it first came out as well so i know this is super old and this next highlighter is from lorac i used to use a tantalizer highlighter all the time if you guys are an og watcher of my videos then you know i used to love this but it's completely gone at this point i can go ahead and toss this in the trash can all right so we're getting rid of a lot of items you guys i'm proud of myself because Typically, I don't know, I'm just a hoarder. Like I like to keep everything, so that's that. But making my way through, everything else is pretty much good to go. The only thing I'm struggling with is the Anastasia Glow Kit, all right? I never touch this, I never use it, but it's such an OG item that I can't throw it away. Like even this highlighter right here is broken, but part of me just doesn't wanna throw it away. Like. I don't know it just brings back memories so i'm just gonna keep this don't judge me you guys but it's just like a staple item that i've had for years i just can't i can't throw it away so this next drawer is all my lashes all right hopefully y'all can see that but i have a bunch of lashes in here okay so you guys know i have my own lash brand now so i really don't use these anymore but i don't want to throw them away i'll probably do it for like or keep it for a giveaway or something like that so somebody else can use it so I'm going to keep a lot of those, actually. So this next drawer, I have a bunch of old products from before. These are a bunch of, like, eye products. And these, for example, is, like, the e.l.f. smudge pot. I don't even know if this is still usable. But let me see, because this is pretty, pretty old. But it still works, though. So I'm just going to keep this just in case, because this is a pretty shade. It's like a champagne shade right there. So I'm going to keep that one but all these glitters you guys like that i've had for years i'm just gonna throw them away because i don't i don't use them anymore i'm a very natural girl when it comes to my makeup nowadays so i have to be honest with myself and stop being a hoarder so i'm just gonna throw all these items away okay so so far these are all the products that we're getting rid of you guys like this is more than what i thought i would get rid of but i'm just tired of having stuff that i don't use at all so moving on to the last drawer i do have my eyeshadow palettes right here i have a bunch of eyeshadow palettes so let's see if i even throw anything away because i don't know with eyeshadow it can last a long time so you don't really need to throw them away but this one for example is my lorac pro palette and yes i need to throw it away because there's no more eyeshadow left in here but at the same time this is like one of my first eyeshadow palettes i've ever had so i can't do it <laughs> i can't throw it away so i'm just gonna keep this one just for memories but this one i really really love and i have my kylie eyeshadow palette that i love the huda one all my makeup geek eyeshadow palettes as well or single eyeshadow sorry um this one is oh wow let me tell y'all about this one so there was this brand that reached out to me they told me they have their own eyeshadow palettes i was like all right cool so they sent this to me and i was like but you guys are not juvia's place like why would you send this if you're not juvia's place like what's going on so then i realized when i went back on their site to check for this eyeshadow palette they had gotten rid of it because they realized that i knew this wasn't them if that makes sense so it was like a counterfeit brand out there like this is years ago so they sent me this but this is not the juvia's place real palette like that's why i never used it because I don't know what's really in here now compared to this one which is the real juvia's place palette as y'all can see the top one is the real one the bottom one is the fake one but when you swatch these the quality is different like 
this one is super pigmented this one is not so i know this one is fake so this one's going in the trash so i also have my bh cosmetics eyeshadow palette anastasia jaclyn hill and morphe palette um let's see this one a brand has sent me years ago so honestly you guys looking in here there's nothing i really want to throw away like when it comes to eyeshadow palettes you guys i'm just i don't know i can use them for years and years and while i was looking you guys i also found the elf times jackie Ina eyeshadow palette that she first came out with and let me open this for y'all all right so this is that palette that first came out years ago and i still have it because um i think it was her first collab ever that she did with anybody so i had to grab this one but like i mentioned before you guys all these eyeshadow palettes i mean yeah i'm not gonna throw them away because i like all of them i'm gonna use all of them so with that being said you guys those were all the items i wanted to go through and that's like my whole makeup collection you guys i still have a bunch of makeup products in this closet over here from pr and i'm saving that for giveaways and all of that so yeah we went through the collection and these were all the products that i am finally getting rid of a bunch of lipsticks powders eyeshadows um all that good stuff so i'm glad i could do this with you guys because when you film it like i have to be honest with myself like while i'm filming with you guys and talking like i can't just keep hoarding products like it makes me feel like all right i need to be honest do i need this or do i need to throw it away you know but yes yeah, so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you go ahead and like subscribe but i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys in my next one